I'm hoping to ask you a little bit about your experience in combating and raising awareness about cancer in developing countries. So particularly, we've done a lot of focus on the African continent mm -hmm. and how we can address the rising incidence rates there. What are some of the strategies that you found are effective? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the best strategies is to never discuss it as a language that only people from other countries suffer. That it's very important to find key leaders and influences in the continent and in different countries who are able to relate to people there. That's key. That's tantamount. And also, uh, there are cultural issues that have to be dealt with. For example, many women who, who develop cancer think they, di they caused it, that they did something um, to make it happen, or that they were cursed in some way. Also, it sometimes puts them at a huge distinct disadvantage in the family, economically. Yeah. And then there's a perception uh, uh, that, that the disease is contagious. Yeah. So it is very, very important first to break down the initial taboos mm. and then to make sure that a, a climate of hope is, yeah. is created for mm. care, treatment, and early detection. With the renewed focus on non-communicable diseases, That's right. with the SDGs, mm -hmm. um, you know, are there new tools at our disposal um, or is there a Certainly. new international push here? Certainly there is. Um, there's uh, early sc cervical screening for cervical cancer, which is now the leading killer of women now that you know, in, in the African continent, though breast cancer is creeping up very quickly. Mm. And it's important that we make these strategies of early detection available in mass quantity. And I will, there's, there's a lot of push and a lot of direction that way by mm. companies in, in the United States and other developed countries to make, to make that happen. Mm. And then also to uh, show people that people living successfully after a diagnosis of cancer, that the, 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 the taboos, the cultural issues that develop over a disease like this, particularly when you layer the uh, demographics of, of the poor, of poverty, uh, are, very are very difficult. And to many people, the equation, poverty means cancer and cancer means poverty, has to be ended. This is, this is a, a notion and it's based all too often in reality. We have to end it. Yeah, it sounds like something that really requires a significant partnership, private sector, government, right. civil society. Right. Uh, what are the keys to forming those partnerships in the best, most constructive manner? First of all, people have to care. People yeah. have to really care and want to make a better world. And so, mm. you know, oftentimes it's the church that has to intervene and then build a, a, an area of support around it. Or then it has to be multinational organizations mm. who maybe have to stretch outside of the missions of their boundary to yeah. do something. And then people, on the ground, nurses, um, uh, uh, Red Cross workers, people who are associated with large humanitarian organizations who come and actually stay on the ground yeah. and train people. Oftentimes it's training the trainer that, that creates a lot of success and trust in people that they can be treated, that there is hope at the end of the tunnel and for their disease. Would you have any words of wisdom for this administration about what direction they should be taking? Well, exactly. Let, let people succeed. There are a lot of people, even within the boundaries of their own jobs, who currently are public servants, serve the government. Let them expand their roles. Let them do a great job. Let people, let volunteerism reign again. Uh, people always want to help. For example, so much of health care in, in America is going to end up in communities. But community health care is good because people get together and they care, and yeah. they can do things that no government, no mm. system can do, that, that we can do to help each other.